Hey, what's up? Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Thanks so much for tuning in today. So here I have the Bond Photo Professional Tripod. I don't know how professional it really is, but I needed a tripod that was actually gonna go behind one of my monitors. And I don't have um, really an area to use one of those clip-on brackets. So I figured, let me get something that's you know small and actually will be high enough over the monitor so I can use like what you're seeing here to shoot some video. Now, um, some of them, they go way too high so the leg spread is too much or they're like the flexible ones. I don't really like that. So I saw this. I didn't want to spend a lot of money and this one was actually $14, which is really nothing. Now, again, this is Bond Photo. It says that it comes with, you know, a tiltable head on it as well as I believe it's a quick release. So we'll find out what that looks like. Um, also comes with a uh, one of the remotes for the phone so you can control it. So that's kind of cool. And for 14 bucks, this is gonna get me anywhere. I don't know what the uh, starting uh, height is, whatever this box is, but it will go up to 25 and a half inches, I believe is the max. Has a universal one fourth inch screw hole. Lightweight, portable, easy to fold, more stable with triangle support. Three sections, legs, tubes can adjust any height easily. Well, that's not really the case. It doesn't adjust to any height. I can't adjust to 10, 10 feet. But um, let's go ahead and see actually what's in the box of the Bond Photo tripod. I was kind of shocked by the price of it actually. $13.99 was with the free Amazon shipping compared to everything else. Nothing else in the box there. Oh, great. This is awesome. So I probably should have looked at the listing a little better, but hey, why not? comes with a nice spring-loaded holder for phone, so that's great. It has the, um, the quarter-inch adapter right there, so you can screw that into this tripod or other ones. And then here we have, I think this works through Bluetooth, so we have the little Bluetooth thing where you put it on your key ring, you can trigger it for iOS or Android, usually to either start and stop video, or you can use it to trigger uh, just taking a photo. That's pretty cool to get with that. Have, I have one of those in the past and always love it. So here is the actual tripod itself. Actually, kind of shocked. Uh, this feels like a aluminum, uh, some plastic. Um, we can tighten this down to keep it in place there or move the head back and forth. And then let's see, is it a, it is not a removable head plate, but it does have the little uh, tightener on the bottom. Has a little bubble level, which is always great. And then we can also adjust it not only to keep it this way, but if I wanted to flip it and shoot it um, a little bit differently, uh, depending on the angle that you want to shoot your content, you have that option and you can tighten it down. Um, you know, keep in mind this is not a real like fluid head or anything, so you're not going to get super, super um, smooth motion when you're panning or tilting. But hey, it's it's pretty good. So you can see back and forth, it is a little bit loose. I can probably tighten it down a little bit. I mean, it's not really gonna go anywhere when you're doing stuff, but if I were to tighten this down, let's see if that's, if that's the right one or not. Not really, but I'm not moving back and forth that much, so I'm not too concerned. So let me go ahead and see actually what this looks like. So we're gonna open this up, and there's actually a lot more aluminum than I thought, so it's like a powder coated black. Um, so check that out. That's a pretty awesome looking stand by itself. And the other neat thing is not only do we have the legs that extend, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yep, this will extend too. So you also get that. So you have a pretty wide base there, but then to make things even better, let's see. Wish that was a little bit tighter there. Maybe if I tighten this down, let's see if that stops, right? I mean, it's 13.99, I don't know what you'd expect. Yes. That is going to do it. So you want to make sure that's nice and tight there. Everything's pretty smooth and pretty nicely put together. I'm kind of shocked actually for the price. So let's see. We also have some little rubber feet here, so it's not going to go anywhere. So we have the first one, open that up, and then we have the second one here. So if I do this and show you exactly how far it is, this really does seem like a nice tripod. I'm really impressed. So there it is. You can hear it's moving around a little bit. All I gotta do again is just tighten it down and it should stop moving. I don't hear it and uh, everything seems really tight. I can take this and loosen it to do my tilting 
And then if I wanted to uh, get the pan action going there, all I gotta do is loosen that one there on the side. So pretty good. I mean, again, not super, super smooth motion. If that's what you're looking for, you're gonna wanna expend a lot of money, but this is gonna be perfect for right behind where I need it. And then if that is not enough, then you can just loosen this up and then pull that up for even more height. What I will say is that I've had, not this brand, but I had one of these little travel ones in the past and I absolutely loved it. And I would take that thing with me pretty much everywhere because I mean, it's not gonna be the height of you. And actually that one I think was pretty tall. It was like four feet that I opened up to. But this one is really perfect for even travel or anybody doing like, you know, vlogging and things like that that just needs a small little tripod for getting things done. So here it is. This is the Bon Photo Professional Mini Tripod. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Looking forward to checking this out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Click that little bell icon to stay up to date with everything I do. And I'll see you real soon.